Today I am in Hamburg, Germany, and I have come to take part in the Piano E competition. The E competition is a very, very different piano competition. The way it works is actually in this round, I go and I play on a Yamaha piano. And what's going to happen is somehow they're going to send my playing to a different piano and then it, that piano is going to play itself as if I'm playing that. So it's a little bit hard to explain, but it will look like the piano is playing itself and there'll be a projected version of me on a screen uh, playing as well, so they get the visual and that. It's a really, it's really, really cool. The technology is really cool. I just saw how it worked and it looks, it looks really cool. I think Yamaha is the only one to do it. Um, so yeah, I do have to admit when I first saw it, I found it really funny. But um, when I actually think about it, it's quite amazing how they did it. It gets the pressure and the, the pedaling just right. So it sounds like you're actually playing even though you're not at that moment physically pushing down the keys. So yeah, um, I'm really interested to see how it looks in the end. At the moment, I've seen the piano uh, play um, just after I finished. I asked if I could see how it worked and the uh, cameraman was kind enough to show me and kind of explain to me how it worked. So um, yeah, I think we'll put a little clip of that so you can have a kind of an idea of what that looks like. This is the room that I was warming up in. This is the piano. This is a bit awkward. So here's the piano. It's Yamaha piano. Uh, maybe I can show you the actual studio I recorded in if it's still open. I can do a quick shot. So this is the, uh, the studio where I did my audition in. That's the piano, it's closed now. But uh, basically what happened is this camera over here recorded what I was visually doing. And then when he took it off and he pressed play, this, the piano keys started to play. And so did the pedal and the keys, they did it at the same time. I actually went and had a look from here to get like a better view, see what it was like. The idea is that eventually they will get this tech, uh, they'll use this technology maybe in the future to make it so that you can be playing in one place 
but you can actually be performing in multiple concert halls all over the world, which is actually pretty amazing because then so it can so many people will be able to to enjoy the performance and not just the people that are in that hall, which is actually quite an amazing thing when you think about it. And also, because it's all on that, from like, from, they're trying, I think, at the moment to do it so that even the older composers, they can take their videos and somehow make the piano play as if they're playing right then, which, will, which is just uh, crazy to think about. You could be hearing... Um, you could be hearing some really like old, like uh, dead, dead even from the first recordings possibly, playing on these pianos, which would be um, really amazing to see. And it also means that your playing can kind of be immortalized in an even better way. Because at the moment we have recordings and we record like this, and then we kind of keep like an image and audio. But this could potentially kind of replace that in the sense you'll get the real piano playing right in front of you. And at the moment, this can be used also for like master classes. Say um, there's someone in one place, there's teachers in one place and students in the other. It really helps to kind of, you can do the master class or a class and the student and the teacher can kind of interact and even see their playing which is uh, really, I think, is, is really um, amazing how that's done. So I'm excited to see what this turns into. Um, and I feel quite privileged in a way to have gotten to play it and see it happen. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how the uh, end product comes out. I think I did a good performance. Um, it was a very different feel, the piano and everything, but I think I still played pretty well. So now all I can do is hope that I get selected for the next round. It is time for me to leave Germany and I am now in the airport, the Hamburg airport. I don't know what the name of the airport is. Uh, this is the airport. And now the, we've come straight from the performance, so I'm really, really hungry. And I can't wait to have something to eat. As soon as we finish checking in and going through the security and stuff, I just realized on this, this these lights look like lasers. That's actually quite cool. <laughs> 